Well, hello, Taurus, beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in. So, yeah, welcome. Uh, all of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you're meant to hear this message. So, if your guides have led you here, your spirit, your ancestors, your higher self, source, our divine energy, or even if someone has shared this video with you and you decided to watch it, then there is a message here for you. So, let me see. Nope. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. So, Taurus, if you turned in, tuned into the video last week, then you know the format that I am doing for these uh, readings. So I have one tarot card. I will be pulling three oracle cards representing past, present, and future energy, and then a chakra affirmation to go with each of those. So let's get into this beautiful reading for you, Taurus. So yeah, I hope that you are all doing so very well and that you yeah, are having a really good week. So I hope that you had a great week last week as well. And uh, yeah, so I seriously, I love these readings. So Taurus, I was totally supposed to post these videos yesterday, but the energy to do the readings just didn't come through and so I didn't end up doing them yesterday um like I'm still getting into the swing of things and still getting used to doing the zodiac readings in general as well so yeah we're getting there <laughs> it's, it's getting there so past okay affirmation present affirmation for Taurus present affirmation for Taurus there we go and a future affirmation for Taurus all right cool so yeah so I showed what decks that I'm using my tarot deck and also my Oracle decks uh, and the chakra energy cards that I am using. So let's get into your tarot energy for the week. So you saw this one slip over a little anyways. And it was funny because when it flipped, I felt like, okay, death is the card that I should take. But because it flipped with two cards, I had turned it back over and then death flipped out again. So there is an ending. There is some sort of ending within you, Taurus. There is something this week that is coming to an end. And you see how she's like taking off her skin. I feel that there is something that is requiring an older version of you to die so that a new version of you can live. So whatever that is, maybe you are quitting a job. Maybe you are moving to a new place maybe you yeah like a whole new city or something you know something where it's like you're ending the existence in one place to go to a new existence in a new place and so that is the energy that's the energy that's coming through for you this week and it doesn't always have to be like physical it could be also internal as well you know maybe you your ego, you know, maybe it's like the death of your ego. Um, maybe it's the death of triggers that you found yourself, you know, that you used to find yourself always being triggered into certain things. And now all of a sudden you don't find those things triggering you anymore. You know, maybe it's the death of maybe you're not single anymore. Maybe you've met someone and you're in a relationship. So whatever it is, there is a transition here for you this week, Taurus, that is allowing you to step into a new and higher version of yourself. Oh, I love it. Okay. Ah, 
Excuse me. All right. Your past energy. Ooh. Ah, your past energy, Taurus, is broken open. And with this energy, I am feeling that there is something that you discovered either about yourself or just something that you discovered maybe within your journey or anything that broke you wide open. And it could be, it could be absolutely anything, Taurus, because, you know, we're all different. But it could have been an epiphany of some sort. It could have been, um, you know, it could have been even like a broken heart. You know, it could have been something that opened your eyes, you know. So like broken open, it could mean a lot of different things for different people. But I also, but I feel that in this broken open energy, you found yourself in a peaceful place after this energy was broken open so that is your past excuse me that's your recent past energy and your affirmation comes from the secondary chakras soles of the feet my earthly life offers me unlimited opportunities for learning and achieving happiness my earthly life offers me unlimited opportunities for learning and achieving happiness Wow, Taurus. <laughs> wow. Absolutely. Gosh, the affirmations seriously like help so much. And it's so wild that these are from different decks because the way that they correspond to each other is so beautiful. But whatever it was that broke you open here in the recent past, you it led you to seeing that the life that you have that you have unlimited opportunities, you have unlimited possibilities, you know, for learning and achieving happiness. And that is the energy that has been broken open for you in your recent past energy. And as you are broken open, you are seeing the that there are no limits to your possibilities. So you know, again, that is where the death card comes in from the death of thinking one way into a new way. So that's beautiful. Your present energy, ooh, Taurus, your present energy is waking the lion. There is a lion within you, Taurus. There is something that is powerful and strong and majestic and beautiful and amazing within you that is awakening, awakening to the energy that is you, the energy that is your possibilities, the, the energy that is your opportunities. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's like, Whatever it is that is within you that has been asleep for so long is now waking up. And it's waking up because it is the time for it to wake up. And uh, I love it. It's beautiful. We have the affirmation, secondary chakra yang. I thankfully and attentively express my fatherliness. I thankfully and attentively express my fatherliness. So... This comes back down to the masculine energy within all of us. And when we are in a, gosh, I'm feeling like it is the masculine energy, a higher version of the masculine energy within you that is awakening, a higher version of uh, what it is you have been previously operating out of that was not for your highest benefit. So you are in a current energy of readjusting and opening and awakening the parts within you that have been long dormant. And that's beautiful. Last but not least, Taurus, a grand symphony. This is your future energy. I love this. So what's interesting is Capricorn got this card for their recent past energy. And 
with this, Taurus, what I'm feeling for you is what's coming in for you is you taking your place in the symphony of things. Um, one thing that the card or the book does say about this is, you know, when we're listening to music, we don't listen to just one note. We listen to the whole melody or the whole rhythm. We don't listen only for the guitar, only at the piano, or only at the violins. It's everything together that makes it such a beautiful and majestic experience. The word majestic keeps coming <laughs> up, <laughs> Taurus. <laughs> like, um, yeah, there's like there's something just magical that's happening with you at this time, Taurus, and it's beautiful. It feels so good. It feels transformative. It feels uh, expanding and ascending. So it feels like it is something that is higher, but also it also does feel like you are finding your, you're finding your group, like you're finding where you belong. Not only like within a group, but within this world, you're finding what is you, what it is that makes you, you Taurus. Oh, and that's beautiful. And from that, you are playing beautiful music. Ah, oh, I love it. Your affirmation and your future energy comes from the fifth chakra, which is our throat chakra. Number 61, I consciously experience my creative powers as the source of fulfillment and purpose in my existence. I consciously experience my creative powers as the source of fulfillment and purpose in my existence. Ooh, exactly that. You are consciously, you are now consciously taking a part in your own life. You are now consciously taking your place, you know. Uh, you are experiencing things differently as you are stepping into this new energy that has been broken open and awakened for you. It, it, it works itself out in the most beautiful way is what I am hearing with this, that it is a grand symphony, that what comes from everything that you are going through this week is a grand symphony. So that is amazing and beautiful energy. Gosh, I seriously, I love doing these <laughs> readings. I love them so much. So Taurus, that is your energy for this week. I hope you all found something that you resonate with. And if you did, then please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are not already. So thank you so much again, Taurus, for stopping by the channel today. I love you. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next one.